Oh, our camera needs to be fixed. <laughs> because it's on the FaceTime HD. Why? Can I fix it after we're on? I don't think so, no. Why? Help. Help. We're broken. Help. It's not working. Uh. Let's see. Let's try this. Manage? No. No. I think you have to end it and come back. Edit? Okay. Yes. Customization. Details. Webcam. It says webcam. It doesn't let me pick the webcam. Hmm. Try taking it off. Well, we're going to have to use the one on the laptop because our other webcam is not working for some reason. Hold on. Let me clean your faces. Let me clean you off. Okay. That's better than nothing. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. It was all set up. It looked like it was going to work. And then, boop, we started the live and it kicked it off. But we are here. Looks like you guys can see some cutting board and you can see the child and <laughs> you can see the vegetables. So it's okay. It's not as good of a picture as with our other webcam, but this is better than having to restart the whole live stream. So we're here. You guys are here. Everybody's here. That's awesome. I don't see us. I'm over on, on, on our YouTube page on my phone and I don't see us. <laughs> What's that all about? Weird. Oh, well. We are on the right page, right? Yes, yeah. we are. Okay. Ah, uh, Cindy says we're on her big screen TV. That's scary. Mm -hmm. That is scary. Um, okay, so we're going to make soup. I'm going to make soup tonight. Anna's going to talk to you guys and, and talk at you guys and whatever um, while I make some soup. So that's the plan. Uh, oh my gosh, the the con you know what's really nice? Um, we can see so many more comments on here than we do. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of you guys so you can see what you look like when we're live. <laughs> this is what it looks like on our end. I'll post this over there. Uh, a little bit later after the live so you guys can see, but there's so many more comments over here yeah, than over there. Show, like one, two, three, four comments. On, yeah, we could, on that, that's one of the reasons why we, we don't get to respond to so many people is because over there we can only see like three or four comments at a time. Over here, it's like the whole side of the laptop screen. And also, if you guys are watching on your cell phones, don't forget, you can click the little square in the lower right corner and you can rotate your phone horizontal and watch it like this and it'll be a bigger picture. Um, but as many of you seem to have figured out, you can also put the video on your television. You can either cast it to your TV right from your phone or if you have a smart TV, just log into YouTube on your television and uh, watch us on your TV. And then you don't have to worry about big picture, little picture, like then we're huge. Um, the other thing I wanna say is please make sure, cause we're trying to, we have to build our numbers over here in order to make this kind of our new home. We're still gonna post over there. It's just as we pick up over here, it's gonna slow down over there. We need to make the move as many of you know for our income. And um, we're trying to get settled in over here. So if you could click that subscribe button, I know it's scary. It doesn't charge you anything. It's free. It just means follow. And then right now you should see a little bell somewhere on the screen. And if you click the bell, you'll get notifications whenever I post something new or whenever we go live again. So subscribe, click the bell, uh, share the video. I can say all those things over here. <laughs> like, leave a comment, tell us you're here, all of those things. I, I, I believe we're allowed to, yeah, we can say, you know, lots of things. We just, I just can't sing. 
I still can't sing. <laughs> they still get you for singing. Whoa, Sharon. Oh, thank you, Look Sharon. Look at her blue cool chicken. Yeah, so what Sharon just did, if you guys see it in your chat, is called a super chat. And it's basically similar to Facebook stars where you can send a big highlighted sticker. Um, you get to choose like how much it's worth or whatever. And obviously, as Anna found out, it really catches your attention. So if you want your, if you want your uh, comment to be front and center, that's one way to do it. <laughs> super chat. So I just, and then, every, and then if you see it, then you'll be like, ah, what is that? Cause it's so big and bright. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I just printed, uh, a recipe off of the internet, internet. <laughs> For vegetable soup. We're going to do a really easy. Mm -hmm. Sharon told me uh, previously how to make a really fancy vegetable soup, how to make the, the vegetable broth from scratch and everything. I'm not doing all that tonight. Um, and we're not eating this tonight. This is for the weekend because we're supposed to get another cold snap. Ugh. So I want to make soup. That person just sent a super chat and it's their first super chat on a live stream. Oh, thank you, Bet. Thank you so much. Yeah, it says let's celebrate first super chat on a live stream. Thank you. Oh, Bambi's doing it too. Thank you, Bambi. Oh, thank you, Terry. Everybody's playing with the buttons. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Play with everything. That's like the quickest way to get situated over here and get used to the new format is just touch everything. Just push all the buttons and figure out what they do. You can't break anything. The worst that can happen is that you'll get kicked out and then you have to come back. Like, you'd be fine. Uh, you might follow a page that you really don't want to. <laughs> but just play with everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you, Auntie B. Thank you, Tara. Okay, so I printed this recipe. It's loaded with vegetables because we love vegetables. I've never met a vegetable I don't like. Um, <laughs> this has yellow onion um carrots we're gonna put in some uh where are they where's the beans we're gonna put in some great northern beans um we're gonna do beans instead of uh sweet potato we're gonna do diced tomatoes we're gonna do um green beans corn zucchini chickpeas spinach uh what else some sweet peppers, mushrooms. mushrooms. We're just, oh my gosh, you guys, thank Someone you. Someone sent a fifty-five. <gasps> Look at all the colors. You're a slave cool. It's like a fiesta <laughs> in here. It's a fiesta. Doesn't it look like a fiesta? I thank you know. guys so and much. And it shows at the top too. So even when it goes off the I screen, know, you can you see it. You guys. At the top. They're going by so they're going. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. First Thank you. First super chat. First super chat. Honest to goodness, it's yeah. soup. I love all homemade soup. I know, Martha. I'm so excited. I haven't made a homemade soup in a while. So uh this is gonna be this is gonna be good. So I'm just basically gonna be chopping veggies while while Anna's chatting you guys up. And um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just sit here and chit chat while I while I throw this soup together. Just throw Whoa, it together. And Tiffany's first super chat. <laughs> yeah, Angela, that that all goes to us. So thank you guys so much. There's there might be like a small um, finder's fee for the the platform, but otherwise it's it's probably less than the stars over there. To be honest with you, so thank you guys. Hey, mommy. Um, you might need to turn up the gain. If you look on the bottom, it's kind of. No, they said they can hear us just fine. Okay. And uh, one more thing I want to mention before we just get to whatever. Um, don't forget that we are doing one more vision boarding session this month. And it's coming up on the 26th. So I think it's a week from tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to be Aaron's vision board. And he's going to be doing a lot of drawing. So that's going to be really cool. So if you guys are interested in that, it's on our website in our store um, you can find the information to see if that's something that you want to do. So um, we need spices, baby. We need to be spicy. spicy. We need want? to be spicy. We need red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. And we need oregano. Flakes. And we need oregano and bay leaves and garlic. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Do we have bay leaves? And uh, white spice? wine vinegar. All right, I need to cut carrots. That's what I need to do. I need to get some carrots cutting. So you can chat, Anastasia. 
while I cut some carrots. You can hear and Whoa, see everything Sandy. fine. Awesome. Sandy says she, Sandy, she sent one euro. Oh, cool. Instead of one dollar, one euro. Yeah, it does. It says a euro. Very cool. Thank you, Sandy. You're not freezing like on Facebook. <laughs> I know. It's cold over there, Terry. <laughs> it's getting colder as things get worse. <laughs> No, that was just, uh, yeah, what was it, yesterday morning? Um, it was just in the house. It was actually warmer outside than it was in the house. So we opened up the doors, the big doors, and let some air in. And within, we let some air in. Some air in. <laughs> Get some more with the white and yellow carrots. Okay, okay, white and yellow. I think there's only there's only a couple yellow in here. Have you guys seen these before? The the rainbow, rainbow carrots. They're like heirloom variety, rainbow. There's like a purple, a white. I think I'm gonna use yellow. all of them. I like carrots. Okay, so we have bay leaves, red pepper flakes, oregano. We need uh, white wine vinegar. We have red wine. Hmm. We might not have it. Can we substitute anything for white wine vinegar? Do the chefs in the room know what works? What? Michelle says, hope all your hard work pays off for being bold and making the move. Thank you. It's been a little nerve wracking, but so far things are falling into place. And I have to say, as scary as this was, and as much as I should have done this already, like in the last two years, I have found in my lifetime, and especially since I started raising this one that even when it's scary, if you just have an idea of what you need to happen and you focus on it and you just keep putting one foot in front of the other, it works out. Mommy, like it always works out. Did you out. see that in the bottom left corner of your screen? It said that they were going to show some ads. Oh yeah, that's great. It, like, <laughs> it, 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 like, it, it, it tells you that it, it's going to, Okay, Marcia says we can use red wine vinegar. Yeah, it tells us so we can like um, be, just be mindful of the fact that some folks maybe right now aren't seeing what's happening because they're on an ad break. And that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So, oh, this is important. Let me tell you guys, since so many of you are here, this is really important. Um, so YouTube does do this thing with the ads where after the ad plays for a few seconds, this little button pops up and it's like, skip, skip me, it. skip me, skip me. And you're like, oh yeah, skip it. Cause I want to go back to what I'm watching. But here's the problem. If you click the skip ad button before the ad has played for at least 30 seconds, the ad view doesn't count. So it's really important to let that ad play for at least 30 seconds before you skip it. And then, then it will count. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Or if it's 30 seconds. Some of them are crazy long. Like but 15 minutes. But 30 <laughs> seconds. 30 seconds is the rule of thumb. Okay. So um, it says heat the oil in a large pot over medium heat. Add the onions, salt, pepper, and cook for eight minutes. So first we have to cook the onion. Then you add the carrots. It says sweet potato, but we're not using sweet potato. We're using beans. So add carrots, beans, and cook two more minutes. So I need to chop the carrots. So I need but like a need bowl to, get, to, get the hair to put the, the... Oh, hair in the carrots. What? We don't want hairy carrots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hairy carrots. <laughs> no. It's extra protein. Just dump the whole bag out. <laughs> I know it, there's like liquid, there's a little bit of water in there. So I'm trying to not make a big mess. Look at how fat this carrot is. It look well, it look looks at, like a like a thumb. It's like the size of my thumb. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's like Halloween. Halloween carrot. No, we're not using that carrot. <laughs> we're not using that no, carrot. It has just green in on case it's too. it's under a disguise. Also, it's green. It's, it's green on top. Uh no, that that might be okay. Yeah, if if it's cut up, yeah. Um, what do you think, baby? What do you want to do? Do you want to? For what? 
Do you want to drain? Um, what does that say to add the chickpeas? To add the chickpeas when what you add the rest of the vegetables. Right, mommy? So chickpeas? I wonder if we shouldn't add the beans until we add the chickpeas. Yeah, they might. They might fall apart or something. <laughs> Greg says you guys look so much better on YouTube. Well, thank you. Chelsea says that sounds really it's like, yummy. It's like having a whole uh, makeover. Yeah. No. Karen just popped out again. She did. Rainbow carrots. Yes, rainbow carrots. Rainbow carrots are good. All right, I'm going to try my best to cut these uniform so they all cook together. And you, girl, mm -hmm. you can you can chat with everybody. Can I stand up? No, not right yes. now. No, I, because there's no space for it right now. In a little can bit. Can you just push my chair out? After you've been sitting for a bit, okay? I can't even really barely see that. You can't see that. I can glasses? see it just fine. No. The eye doctor said she does not need glasses. No, but. And you were just reading them a minute ago. So let's stay on your bottom on the chair and, and read the comments, please. Tracy says, love good homemade vegetable soup. Yes, I love vegetable soup <laughs> so much. I love it. It's like my favorite. Great. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> need to rinse off anything. Um, the zucchini will have to be rinsed. Do you want both of them or just one? Yeah, both of them. Yeah, I like my vegetable soup chonky. Very, very chonky. <laughs> Almost like a stew with, with the chunks. Susan said, I made chicken vegetable soup. So good. Ooh. We'll have to try that sometime. Nice. Thank you guys for the super chats, KR. Thank you. Sorry I didn't get to thank everyone. A lot of them came in fast and went by fast. You can see them at the top. Yeah, they're they're just like the numbers though. They don't can't see the names. I'm excited, and this is gonna sit overnight and get even better, so we can eat it tomorrow. Melissa says, I like my soup all whizzed up. Whizzed up? What does that mean? Like a wizard? <laughs> Your wizard, Soupy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. She said Who's whizzed. Soupy? I don't know. She said whizzed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. just, just who is Zoopy? I'm all whizzed up. Just who is Zoopy? Zoopy. <laughs> Zoopy, Soupy. <laughs> Probably blended, Lisa pureed. Says, Lisa, 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 oh, Lisa. that's what that means. <laughs> Wizard soup? This must be from the UK. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> they're saying that whizzed up maybe means like blended or pureed. Oh. Thank you. That's fast. Should she, or should she, should he come up the lollipop? Here, Anna doesn't want to use the thumb carrot. Here. It's, an, it's, it's a it's a thumb. It reminds her of a thumb. Looks like a thumb. Doesn't it? See, look. Okay. Janet says that's Australian for blended. Ah, okay, Australian. Michelle says I hear it's gonna get colder tonight. That's what I hear yeah. too. I hear that we're gonna get another cold snap this weekend. Cold snap? I thought it was cold, cold front. Oh, they call it a cold snap because like snappy it comes in. Snap it. Snap it. Yeah. That looks like little throwing discs. These ones are bigger. I like how these uh purple carrots are yellow inside. I think it looks cool. Daddy, I got the I got the things. You can start rinsing off. What? You can start rinsing off. You rinsing off start. what? Anything. I, I think we're only gonna since we're using chickpeas, we'll probably only use one can of beans. Okay. Um I think the only other thing that needs to be rinsed or maybe some of the I don't know. Should we put sweet peppers in there or no? 
because it's three hours. What do you guys think? Is that going to like throw off the the yeah. epic planetary alignment and balance of the yes. of the vegetable soup? I love vegetable soup too, Sheila. Yes, no, maybe so. Sheila says, I love veggie soup. No, no peppers, no. Put it in. Somebody says, put it in. Throw it all in. 60 days until spring. What? Peppers are too strong. Yeah, I can't say that I've ever had a vegetable soup with it went like peppers. With I mean, that might be good, but it would not taste like what we're expecting it to taste like. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's let's omit the sweet peppers just because I, I'm not feeling adventurous. I just want a good, Veggie hearty soup. vegetable soup. Out of here. Sweet peppers are out of here. Wendy says no red pepper. No red pepper. Would you like uh, some carrot? Some carrot? Mm. Eat some carrot? It'll probably take me nine years to chew. Mm. I'll have mm -mm 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 -mm. one. I'll have this little thing. Mm -mm. The tiniest one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll have oh the my tiniest. God. Mm. Mama, mm. I'll have the tiniest. Mm. So good. So good. What is happening to you? It's so good. It's so good. I love them. Three is a small amount of peppers. Who said small amount of peppers? Clarice. Like maybe some diced red peppers? Hmm. Someone said if they're green, they're absolutely not. But if they're Sharon green. says maybe if you roasted them first. Okay, well, yeah. We're, Definitely not. We're not roasting anything tonight, so next time. Next time we'll we'll, we'll, we'll be adventurous and try it. Okay, we've got a bowl full of carrots. Look at that. Daddy, want a carrot? Uh, hey, baby. This, <laughs> this bowl is the perfect size. Cool. And it looks nice. It's a nice contrast. Yes. To the teal. It's very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> in that Daddy, bowl. Here. Now I need one for the zucchini. Eat it. Eat what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That was fun. <laughs> are you live? Jody wants to know if we're live. Where I, are we? I, I thought we were live. <laughs> we are live. How should I cut the zucchinis? In quarters? Should quarter it? Quarter it? And... Yes. yes. Or how about cut it in half and slice it? Half and then half. And then half. And then dice. Mm. I think yeah, I think you should dice them. I wish I could do like 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 the fancy chopping like <laughs> boom done. <laughs> I would rather do the chopping where you throw it in the air and then just throw the knife on it. <laughs> just throw everything in the air together and it just comes down in pieces. Yeah, yeah, including the knife. Whatever. And then it just comes down all in pieces. <laughs> Perfectly landing in the bowl. Oh my goodness. Oh bowl. We need a bowl. What happened? Any bowl. A bowl for the zucchinis. <laughs> Caroline says hi from awesome. Wet Ireland. Anna, did you make it through your second Unicorn Chronicles book? I did, and I'm starting the third. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Tell us about it. I don't think you've told us anything about book two. No, not yet. How about give give us a, a quick, like a super quick recap on book one and then and then go into book, like tell us what's happening in book two. Like what's going on? What's going on? We're all invested. <laughs> tell us. So I'll start with a recap of the first book. Yeah, I just guess. just like a quicker recap of book one and then and then what's going on with book two. Okay. So for book one, it started out with there was this man chasing um, Kara, which is the main character, and her grandmother into St. Christopher's Church. 
So they had to escape, and her grandmother told Kara to use a little amulet to go into Luster, which is the land of the unicorns. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when she when she got into Luster, she met some really some really good friends, and her first one was the Nimble Thumb. The Nimble Thumb is just like a little bear kind of creature. Man bear. <laughs> Man bear. Yeah. Dimble, Dimble thumb is his name. Yep. Okay. Dimble thumb. And then there is um, the squeegum, which looks like a little squirrel and a monkey. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of weird. He chatters a lot. Okay. Yep. And so now the last was the most magnificent of them all, Lightfoot. A rebellious young unicorn. So, all of them together, they wanted to return the amulet to the queen. Where on their path for taking the amulet to the queen, this Thomas the Tinker guy with his wagon. And Thomas his, the Tank Engine? No. Oh. Thomas the Tinker. Thomas the Thinker? No, Thomas the Tinker. He's like, hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thomas the Tinker? Yes. Because he tinkers? <laughs> Well, he does fix things. Okay. All right. That makes sense then. <laughs> yeah. And he has like, he has like a little coat that he wears and there's like chains stripping out of them and each one holds like a little watch that does different things and weird stuff and more stuff and stuff and stuff. Okay. All of his packs are mostly filled with watches except for one is filled with biscuits. For biscuits? The, for the squeegee. Okay, but are they like U.S. biscuits or are they like U.K. biscuits? Because those are two different things. I have no idea. Just, <laughs> in the book, it just said biscuits. Okay. So. It's fantasy, so I'm going to go with U.K. <laughs> Aaron votes U.K. biscuits. <laughs> I vote the only ones I've ever had in my life. And then what happens? Um, And then after that, the thinker comes along and they go and they on their way back, but before they can even return to the queen, Thomas fixes the amulet for them. Because one of the chains was, like, broken. Oh. Broken chain. <laughs> um, Keep going. Yes, okay. so then, on their way, they met another character named Grimwald. And, and Grimwald told them about this. Who? Grimwald. Oh, okay. <laughs> told them about what? They told them about this story about this man who her his name was Hunter. Just I don't know what their first name was, but he was in the Hunter pack. Mm-hmm. And they um went and they they went. I should stop saying went. Um, the Hunter he had a child, and his child was so sick that they found. They they were he was trying to hunt for a unicorn mm. to rip off the horn to help save her child. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. And so when they found they well he didn't find this unicorn, but the unicorn came to not the man but actually the child that was laying in the middle of the forest while the man was out hunting. Uh huh. And then the man came back and they fought. With each other, the unicorn and the man. But, and so he decided to name this this child Beloved. Because that was his only child that he had. Okay. And so, Whiteling and the man, they fought. And then, but then both of them unalived, so. It both was, of them? Yes. So the child is alone with no parent? Well, so, hold on. I'll tell you something. So, before they fought, well, so the the man shot the unicorn with, like, a little arrow. Uh-huh. And he reared up, but his horn was stuck inside of the girl's, like, heart. So, it the tip of its horn broke off, but it stayed inside of the child's heart. Ever wounded, ever healing. So, yeah, and after they fought, she was alone, but she had 
many, 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 many years down grandchildren. Okay. And then what? Are you in book two yet? No. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I'm talking about what the the story Grimwald told them. So action packed <laughs> books. They are. Um, but this this did not actually happen in the book. This was just a story that Grimwald wanted to tell them. And so well, well Grimwald's just to say he was like a little kind of like a small man. He was just like a little tiny little chubby small man. Mm-hmm. And that, that's who Grimble is. Yeah. And so after he was done telling them the story, they um they went and this so I'm gonna introduce you to this new character, Firethroat. She is a dragon. She is big, she is red, and her wingspan is about maybe hundred feet. Two hundred feet. Sarah, she's talking about the Unicorn Chronicles. She's moved on. She's on book three. She's moving on to book three now. I'm starting book three. Yeah, she's starting book three. I've already started book three, actually. This is a, a low or, organic, low sodium, no added sugar vegetable broth. Oh, five percent sodium per cup. Mommy, book. What book? Book? Oh yes, keep going. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so remember, fire throat. Her wingspan is about uh, 100 to 200 feet. She's a dragon? Yep, she's a dragon. Wow. She was the first dragon that actually came into Luster. And there's seven dragons in Luster. I can't name them all for you because I don't remember them. Mm-hmm. But I, all I remember was fire throat and Ebillion. Okay. Ebillion was the last one that I'll say in book two. Ebillion? Ebillion, yes. Huh. He's a dragon. So fire throat. So she came down, and it was only um, Lightfoot, Dimblethumb, Squeegem, and Kara. And Grimwald was following them until he had to go back to his thing. Oh, it doesn't wash yet. They're all ready. Yeah, it's ready to eat. It's already washed and cut and everything. Just, it's just looking like. Like it needs to be used or tossed. Let's use it. We are. <laughs> it's just, it's starting to look a little almost dehydrated. Oh, beans and chickpeas. Woo. All right. I think I'm ready for the pot, babe. I think we can get started. Um, go ahead, Anna. Yeah. So, Fire Throat, she swooped them up and all of them except for at the squeegum was on. Kara's shoulder. What? It smells like onions. It just smells like onions. And we need olive oil. And that's a big spoon. Can I pour the um Hello? <laughs> what? What is it? Echo. <laughs> it's a big pot. Can I pour the onions in? in the yes, summer? after we get that, we're gonna get some olive oil. Yep. Yep. Olive oil? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, so Fire Throat scooped them all up except for the Dimble Thumb. And since the Squeegum was on Kara's shoulder and Kara was swooped up with Lightfoot, they both went up to Fire Throat's cave. Whoa! The third super on the live stream. Thank you, Sally. Oh, Sally says, I love your sweatshirt hoodie, Nana. Some of my favorite colors. Thank you. It's actually, look. Mickey head. <laughs> it's actually, you know, I bought this for myself like five years ago before I had even been to Disney. Isn't that funny? And it has matching sweatpants too. And it's got yeah. the, the Mickey heads and the stars all over it. Yeah, Rainbow. it's super cute. I like it. Okay, like thank you. a kid's version of it. Anyway, back to the book. <laughs> okay, so Fire Throat, she... Remember, she, uh, yeah, she scooped them up. And so after Grimwald's story, Kara knew, actually, who chased them into St. Christopher's. Do you know who? 
Who? Her dad. Her dad. I thought he was. Kara's dad. I thought he was gone. I thought he was. Who? She's not the baby. She's not the baby. Never mind. Never mind. I'm confused. Which one do you want? I don't know. Which one do you want? I can't put too much in there. Kosher. Just enough to like give it the 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 oomph. The oomph. There. Can you pull me out for do I need to stand on your knees? Yeah. Well thank you for the broccoli, Sheila. Yeah, so Kara's dad, not her grandfather, but her dad, chased them into St. Christopher's. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need your help. I'm gonna need your help because I can't. I'm trying to get your other hand too. Okay, ready? Yep. Set. Go. Whoa. Not that. <laughs> I'll get it. We need a spoon, a big, big stirring spoon, babe. I got it. You're gonna get onion all over your hands. Do not eat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> do not eat the pouch. <laughs> yes, not. Okay. All right. So then what happened? So then after, um, so yeah, her dad, not her grandfather, but her dad chased them into St. Christopher's. And he had, so when the fire killed, when she came in here, she had some of her friends. I'm not sure if it was other dragons or whatever. But she had some of her friends take out her heart and put it, she, they put it in a little casket. And that casket held her heart. So whoever was holding that casket with her heart in it, they would, uh, could I scrape it out with my hands? Mm. Ah! <laughs> Not that! <laughs> Okay, keep I'll going. I'll pour these in since I am able to. We're not. No, Daddy's got to do that at the stove, though. We're not doing that yet. I'm gonna pick out some of these because they're like a weird, a weird, a weird dark white. Um. Michael loves veggie soup too. Why isn't it no colorful at all? Um, keep going. What's going on with this? Come on, you got to get to book two. And we're go waiting. all the way through. Books, we're waiting. So. You gotta, you gotta learn to summarize, girl. <laughs> Give us the 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 quick and dirty. The... Give us the sum, the summary. The sum. The summary. <laughs> Jimmy. Okay, so. Um. Where were they? Oh, yeah. So they were going around and they were like talking and doing stuff and then fire throat decided to give Kara a boon a boon <laughs> yes a boon. what's a boon a boon is like a gift or like a present but just in a dragon way hmm, okay that's just a dragon you mean a boom no a boon like <sighs> there's your present no i just toasted i just toasted and roasted you Congratulations. No. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like a, a favor. favor. Yeah. So what she did was ah. she ripped off one of her scales from her neck. And there was three it. drops of bee. And it went into this bee? little. Yes, you know what like bee is. No. <laughs> no? The bee word. Oh, the, 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 the bodily fluids. The red, the red. The bodily fluids, the, 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 the red, red stuff. The red body stuff. Yes. Just say red body stuff. <laughs> yeah, three drops of red body stuff came into this little, like, trophy-like thing. Uh-huh. And so, Firethroat wanted Kara to drink okay, it. Okay, sir. It's all you know. Firethroat wanted Kara to Here. drink it. Mommy. Yeah. Ferris yeah. wanted Kara to drink it after it fell into the little trophy. Yeah. Because guess what the boom was? What? The gift of tongues. There was no. <laughs> there was no Rogers. creature on Luster that she would not be able Just to talk to. Just a bag full of tongues? No. Gross. 
No, she drank it and it gave her the gift of tongues. Smells good. So because what happened was when Kara first came into Luster, she had to be she had to be touching Lightfoot in order for because it, they use telepathic messages. Okay. Uh-huh. But now that she had the gift of tongues, she could speak to anyone in Luster. There was no one she couldn't speak to in Luster. Uh-huh. So she could like do she would do like kind of like unicorn movements and it would kind of like talk to Lightfoot without her having to have her hand on Lightfoot to, for telepathic messages. Okay. Yeah. So that was that's the gift of tongues, not a bag of tongues. <laughs> well, that's a good thing because uh, that'd be pretty creepy. It would be weird, yes. Even if they were moving, it'd be even more creepy. If they were moving. Okay, um, moving on. <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> so after that, can I have a mushroom? You want to eat one mushroom? Yeah, just, just by itself? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute? Mm -hmm. You think it's cute? Mm -hmm. They're so cute, the mushrooms. They're tiny, they're cute, and they're good. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got... Okay. We also have, I don't think I showed you guys, frozen corn and, and green beans. I don't have to cut those. They're so keep, good. Keep going. Keep going. What else? We've got spinach. It's going to go in last. So, after she got the gift of tongues, mm -hmm. that was kind of the end of it, really. That was about the end of book one? Yeah. Okay. And then, for book two, it's called Song of the Wonder. Wait, no. It's the what? Wait, what? Who? What? <laughs> wait, what? What happened? For the first book, actually, the very end. Yeah. So before Cora came into Lusser, her grandmother told her to find the old one and tell her the wanderer is weary. Tell her the want. Should I chop these mushrooms up a little more, maybe? Yes, and the spinach. And the spinach? No, because yeah. the spinach will wilt all. It'll go. And then it'll be like, just little, like, you're going to be like, where'd the spinach go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the spinach does a disappearing act every time. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Keep the tiny ones in there, though, if you're going to mix them up. Just itty bitty eat one. Always, every time I get a, a container of mushrooms, they just, like they're, like they're on the edge. Like, like they're just almost not going to make it. I don't like that. Yes, yeah, so um that Chelsea says, <laughs> she says me I love mushrooms. <laughs> Chelsea says Anna is making me want to read the book series. You should. Cool, cool. That's good. That's good. Maybe maybe someday we could do like a little maybe remember like my reading book club? Mm-hmm. We yes. should all we should we should do that. I I want to do it. It's okay, fun. so book two. Yeah, we were gonna do like a like a, how are we going to do that? A book club, club read, like where you pick a book and then everybody reads it and then you get back together and talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. And we'll have, um, and I'll have like a list of questions. I think we were going to do that as a, uh, as a community room in Mighty Networks as oh. like one of the social, social rooms that people can. Okay. Book. Anyway. Book time. Back to the book. Back to the book. Yeah. And so Kara, since her grandmother told told Kara to find the old one and tell her the wanderer is weary. Okay. What happened was she did. She found the old one and told her the wanderer is weary. Mm -hmm. Which was the old one was actually... Okay, so the old one has three names. Her, her first name is the old one. Her next name is the queen. And her other name is Arabella Sky Dancer. Those are her three names that she goes by. Okay, that's a lot of names. That might get confusing, but okay. Those are her three names. You can choose any name to be picked from. Okay. Black, the unicorns, and luster call her, call her either the queen or the old one. Unless they're talking about who she is to someone, they either say the queen or the wanderer. Okay. Or not the wanderer, the old one. And actually, her grandmother, Kara's grandmother, was the wanderer. So now for Song of the Wanderer. What There's a song? Yeah. Do you know it? I, I no. Oh. Bummer. It's just called Song of the Wanderer. Oh. <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, 
so <clears throat> for Song of the Wanderer, it started off with um, them going on a plan. They so the queen had sent Ergo Sky Dancer. She sent Moonheart, Finder, and Belle with Kara and Lightfoot and the Dimble Thumb and the Squeak John and all the guys. Mm-hmm. So they all went together and they were going along the way until when they came to the um why would, why was I just about to say the green thing? <laughs> Okay, the, the the um castle. They they were going to like the castle or something or Summer Haven. They were they went to Summer Haven. And <clears throat> they found some, some a little group of people called the Queen's Players. And and they put like plays on. So some of them were acrobats, some of them were dancers. And then so there was like kind of yeah, but they just put on plays for the queen's visitors. And Jackies was one of the names of one of the guys. He was an acrobat. There was a couple women, couple men, and so they they were all they went and they met each other. Yeah, and so when they met each other. They went along, all of them, everybody, including the Queen's players, they went along because they were headed toward the River Silver. But before I tell you about that, let's talk about something else, the Geomancer. <clears throat> so they went to the Geomancer, hey, a.k.a. Megama, and Megama, she um, led them underground for the, um, because they were um they needed to go find they needed to go past through one of the gates to get her grandmother mommy look at that hold on uh melissa is wanting to know if i will be on the zen page later tonight yes i will absolutely um i'm gonna continue i'm gonna no you'll be in bed i'm gonna continue working on aaron's uh birthday gift and janet says anna you have such an amazing memory thanks and um, let's see, Sarah says, who needs to read the book now? We know it all. <laughs> yeah, try to try to try to like consolidate it so that so that it's it's shorter and you're not giving away every single detail because some people might actually want to read the books. Yeah. OK. So they went to the Geomancer, a.k.a. Megama, and they they were heading to find her grandmother and Madama did some like interesting things and they told them where to go and all that. Right. And so, yeah. And then they went into a billion's territory. They had, to, their route was to go to a billion's territory the and they had to pass you need through the, carrots. the beans. Oh, not the beans. Beans are going to go in at the end with the chickpeas. So, um, what was I saying? You interrupted the me. caster. Caster? Didn't you what just? About these, oh, these the queens. The queens players. players. Queens players. Do, so they met the, the queens players, and yeah. they introduced themselves, and they said that they were all headed toward the river Silver because that's the one of the places they needed to go. Oh, okay. So they all decided to do stuff, and one of the nights they were stopping at camp. The Queen's players put on a little show for them. They were stopping there? Yeah. To do a show? Well, not in um, not in pure daylight. It was for stopping for the night. Oh, okay. Like they do. It was an overnight show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then they slept, and then the next day they got up and headed toward the River Silver some more until they had to part. And when they parted... Before they parted, Jackie's wanted to come along. What did they part? Did they part the sea? The sea? No. No. They they parted into two different teams. Oh, okay. Because they were each going a different way, but Jackie's decided to leave the Queen's Players group and actually go into 
the um the other group and Jackie. Do you know why he wanted to come in there? No, why? She, he I was Kara's grandfather. Uh, I'll need a bowl if, uh, and the opener so I can get that together for you. Hold on, Anastasia. I'm, I have to help Daddy with soup. You're talk. You're telling them anyway, so you don't need my feedback. Did you, you hear keep... what I said? Though? No, because I was I was helping Daddy. Well, Jackie is Kara's grandfather, and okay. that's why he wanted to come along with Kara. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and so um. What happened was one of the nights mm. that they stayed, they, they were in Summer Haven for like some group meeting. And <clears throat> they, well, they went to sleep. And they, so they were, they taught um, Car the Constellations. And one of them was the Ravager. <clears throat> and so just remember, Beloved is the bad guy. So she has all of her many, 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 many years down grandchildren. Uh-huh. All of those were in the hunter's team, and they were with Beloved to try to destroy all the unicorns. Wow. So they were so Beloved was actually a bad guy. And she wanted to steal the amulet from Kara. So she was looking up at the Ravager. And she just suddenly just dozed off. And guess what she saw in her dreams? What? Beloved. No. Really? Yeah, her dream was that she was walking around her house that she lived in with her grandmother. Mm -hmm. And she looked over at like the little TV that was on and it showed Beloved. That's what was showing. And so everybody, when she, she screamed oh, because she was like, the, no, why are you going to miss me? So she, or a, um, she, or was, a big, um, she was like, no, why are you going to miss me? So she screamed, it in. and then everybody came over there. And, well. Yeah. Fire roasted. Fire. <laughs> Smell it. it. smells like tomato soup. It does, actually. <laughs> Oh, those? yes, that's perfect. Diced Fire roasted diced tomatoes. Well, <laughs> that's a lot. So, yeah, she, so everybody came running to her and they were, they were like, what happened? So she told them the story of her dream, but the unicorn couldn't find out what the connection was between Beloved and Kara. They couldn't find out the connection. Really? They couldn't figure it out, huh? Yeah, until she um she met this like some weird lion it's called a griffin. A griffin? Yeah. Daddy knows what that is. What? Griffin? Griffin is part part eagle, part lion. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did you have in Harry Potter? Huh? Did you have in Harry Potter? Yeah, isn't Gryffindor isn't the Gryffindor um Mascot? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. But she found um, the griffin. She found a, a griffin, Kara. And they, um, she, well, he or she? I think it's a he. The griffin. I'll just say the griffin. The griffin yeah, you're going to want to take these over there. The griffin, he was trapped. So Kara had to save the griffin and so he the griffin offered her offer, offered her something and then on their way they so she like kind of like stared into the no they go in you gem, have to follow these oh, instructions and she exactly. saw guess what she but saw you're gonna have to come gem. back for the vegetable broth too guess what she saw in her in that gem what did she see her mother not her Wait a minute! Her all mother. all of her family just keeps popping up everywhere. <laughs> is that what this is all about? She just keeps finding family. I I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So her mother appeared in it, and then so next they were traveling, traveling, traveling again, and then they stopped for the night. And there was this certain path they had to go through mm -hmm. but first before i tell you about what they did i can tell you about what what happened just before that mm -hmm. there was a battle with delvers 
the Delvers are bad guys, too. And there are all the um, many, I think they might all have been the many, many, many grandchildren of the Beloved. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Look at these really I dirty. hope this all fits in the pot. We're going to have that. We're gonna have a a pot tea, a pot tea. Yum, 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 yum. Big vegetable Ooh, pot right, of big. Okay, You're Anna. You're so fluffy. <clears throat> you want a cucumber? Uh, let's see. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyone know how to chat on Roku? So if you guys are watching on your TV, you probably can only watch and you'll have to use your phone um, or your iPad to do the chatting, but you can do both at the same time. So you would use your device in your hands to chat and then watch on the television, um, which is actually probably nicer. We're making a vegetable soup, um, which might be more vegetables than soup. <laughs> the way it's shaping up. We might have to transfer it into a bigger pot and add more uh, broth because it's it's going to be very chunky. Story! But you have exactly four minutes and then we're going to say goodnight to everyone and so I can go finish the story. That's a lot of story. Yeah, four Hold minutes. On, let me think. Let Fast me think. forward. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if I just said that. And go. Know. Um... So what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I didn't even update them on appointments. You got to finish your story, girl. We got other stuff to share. Okay. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So so they were the unicorns and all the guys they fought around with the Dovers. And then they slept for the night. And that night, Kara went out with the little gem that she had. And she... Again, just stared out into the moonlight. She found all the constellations, and she just gazed off into the Ravager again. And so, and this time, they actually found the connection. Yeah. Because she stared at the Ravager the first time, and now she's staring at the Ravager a second time. And she, like, kind of dozed off while she was standing up. And guess what she saw in her dreams? Uh, some other, a cousin or her like brother-in-law or mm-hmm. <laughs> no. who? Beloved. Again. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And so after that, they were finally able to get onto earth again to save her grandmother. And then they were fighting with Beloved mm-hmm. because, because Kara was exploring around the house again. To try to find her grandmother, and then she opened the door, and there was Beloved waiting for her. At the end of book two? No. <sighs> two minutes. I've got two minutes. All right. Keep going. Yeah, so they fought, and everybody fought and fought and fought. And then at the end, Beloved told them that the Ravager, that's how she was able to connect with Kara. Mm-hmm. Whenever she looked up, whenever Kara looked up at the Ravager, that's how Beloved was able to connect with her. Do you smell that? Mm, smells like vegetable soup to me. <laughs> I only smell vegetable. Did off. you put the garlic in there, baby? Yeah. Okay. Did you put more garlic in there, baby? I smell the onion. Can you put more garlic in there, baby? <laughs> There's never too much. What would you think? There's never too much garlic. But never what would you think garlic. if there was sucky, if you just heard sirens? And then a cop just Put came some in garlic here? powder in there with the with the fresh garlic. What would you think if a cop just came in here and, and then and he arrested Daddy for using too much garlic? What? <laughs> I'd be like, where are we? What alternate dimension reality have we fallen into? <laughs> All right. Can we okay. can we do it to be continued on the rest of the story? Hold on. This is the end of the story. Okay. Tell us the, the end, end. end of book two. Yes. Yeah, so so she found her grandmother after they were done with the fight. And she found her grandmother on, laying on the bed, but she wasn't moving. And then Nagama had given her had given given her a little ring. Uh-huh. And that ring, it said, um, 
say anything, sorry. But when she started singing. Hurry, you've got 17 seconds before an ad. Go. Ah! When she started singing what? Go. She started singing the, the song and the her grandmother's song. And then she started singing everything. And then finally this ring just came right out. Time for an ad. <laughs> Hold on. It'll it'll okay. It's okay. It'll it'll replay from where right now when it starts again. So um <clears throat> so it actually they did um yeah. oh yeah the ring it like, it really like well. had like a pillar of light coming out of it and it started to glow and so then she felt like she was falling and falling and falling until she was in this rainbow prison whoa in the green shaft of it. And she found her grandmother. And then, so they talked, and then the queen came down. And they said that because, so there was a story the queen had told them, and it was about someone named Amelia Flickerfoot. It was a unicorn. Oh, a unicorn. A un does she have sparkly hooves or something? I don't know. She must have. I, I think <laughs> she has sparkly hooves. I think they're, like, blue and teal but and hold purple. Hold on, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. What? So there was this story about that Grimwald had told them about how her grandmother had first came into Luster. Mm -hmm. And one of them was this one. One of them was the character was Moonheart, actually. Moonheart was the unicorn that came over to Ivy. And Ivy Morris was her was her grandmother's name. Yeah, and so she came over there and helped her, and then Moonheart, Moonheart needed help. So she had that's how she first came into Lester. And then so so what happened was the question, the queen answered the question. And the question was, why could Moonheart sense Ivy's need while no of the others could? Moonheart could because her uh, Kara's grandmother, Ivy, was actually what? 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 Actually, what? Amelia Flickerfoot. No way. Yeah, she was just in. She, she was just in human form. What are you doing? Dog? Is that the end of book two? Hold on. One oh, second. Just Anna. one second. Just one second. One more second. Go. <laughs> okay. No, no. So, um, so they. What happened was everyone gathered. In the place, so she was actually um, Moonheart's sister, really. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so they that's where it ended. And then everybody gathered around because the queen was passing away. Oh, and then the but the everything she washed away into the sea, but her horn was left. So Megano was there and she came over. And so Ivy was the last one to come up and. Hugged the queen before she passed away. Oh, that's sad. But hold on. But then they revealed that her grandmother was Amelia Flickerfoot by she snapped the horn in half. And then that's how her they grandmother, knew. Yeah. Megama snapped the horn in half, the geomancer. Uh-huh. And then she returned to Amelia Flickerfoot. And then she became the new queen. Amelia Flickerfoot is now. Wow. Was Ivy Morris. And that's why Moonheart could sense because Ivy was her sister. Very cool. Very, very cool. And you have how many books in the series? Eight? Seven. Seven. So you've got and I'm in third uh, book. five more to read. Yep. That's amazing. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Shantae had a question about when she can click the skip ads button. After about 30 seconds. After at least 30 seconds, um, if you click it right away, as soon as it comes up, it doesn't, the ad view doesn't count. So you want to so wait. at least like 10 more seconds after it says skip mm -hmm. ads. Give it 30 seconds and uh, then you can skip it. Someone please tell me about the Zen page. I'll tell you about the Zen page. So Aaron and I Your started, uh, and then I'll talk about medical updates and then we'll go. Um, can I go? Yes, you you may go. You're you're done with your story. I'm yeah. gonna update. You can update. And I'll so, um, Aaron and I had started uh, about a year and a half ago a spinoff page over on the other platform. 
So some of you guys may know we have the Team AMC Anna page, which is our main page on the other platform. And then we had a spinoff page called Princess Anna's A-Team. Uh, we no longer use that for the purpose we started it. We were doing Anna, no. We were doing live streams over there at night, Aaron and I, after Anna went to bed. But then we started just doing lives whenever we wanted on the main page, which is what we should have done all along. So that page wasn't being used. So I decided to turn it into a relaxing, uh, chill out, decompression space for everyone. And so I've been over there for the last week or so. Um, I changed the name to A3 Zen Zone. And I've been over there doing uh, crocheting, coloring, playing games. Like I just get on in the evening after Anna goes to bed when I'm in my office, cal you know, calming down, just relaxing. And I do relaxing stuff. And people are getting on. And they have their own things, their own crochet projects or their own coloring books or whatever they have at their home. And they're sitting and we're just chit-chatting and chilling out and doing whatever. So um, we were talking about maybe doing some diamond painting, some, some acrylic painting, like it'll be different things. Um, so that's going on over there. Cindy says the Zen page is wonderful. I'm so glad you guys love it. Here's the thing, though. I'm spending three hours a night almost pretty much every night. Last night was the first night I didn't do it for a while. Um, over there where we aren't, we don't have any ads on live streams. And so I really need to move that over here, too. But I don't know if I want to create like a whole separate space or if I just make a playlist on this channel so everything's in one place. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, those are the options. Either we make a playlist here on this channel where you are right now, and we kind of move that over here, and we do it over here at night. Um, or I make a whole new channel. The problem with that is then we have to, like, accumulate all of the, the viewers and stuff. So that could take a while to become uh, a thing. But people really seem to like the option of doing that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's happening with the Zen Zen zone. It's the A3 Zen zone. So I will be over there tonight. I'm going to be working. I'm working on a crochet project for Aaron for his birthday. It's my, my handmade gift to him. So if you want to check it out and you want to watch that, um, meet up over there. It'll be sometime after Anna goes to bed. She usually goes to bed between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, medical updates real quick. Real quick. Um, so Aaron took the train down to West Palm Beach and had his glaucoma checkup on Wednesday. And it went really well. Um, doctor said that pressures are the same as they have been. They're, they're maintaining. They're not getting lower but they're not getting any higher. Um, he's 13 in one eye and 17 in the other, right, babe? Yep. So he said, you know, that's pretty good. And just keep doing his eye drops every night like he has been, um, you know, keeping, keeping up with that responsibly. And um, as long as they don't go, they don't start going back up, he's in really good shape and he just has to go back every six months for a checkup. So that was really good news. And then, um, as you guys know, I had a bunch of stuff done from the new cardiologist that I'm seeing. Uh, he switched my um, blood pressure medicine like two and a half weeks ago. And uh, it was a little rocky. It was a rocky two weeks. My blood pressure was like, and it's, you know, higher more so than, than lower a lot of the time, but I guess that's par for the course when you're switching medicines. So I kept track of it, kept taking it multiple times a day. Uh, I got a new blood pressure cuff, which is amazing. And it like Bluetooths the information right to my phone. And then I was able to print it and take it into my appointment today for my checkup. And so he was able to see like the whole history, which was really cool. Um, he sent me first for a, a chest x-ray because I've had an issue since we were sick in September 
with uh, reduced lung capacity to the point where I can't even, I wasn't even able to walk across the house without feeling super winded. Like I had run a marathon and my lungs burning. Um, he wanted to check and make sure I didn't have anything going on there. So he sent me for a chest x-ray chest x-ray was clear. Um, then he wanted to check on my heart. And so he sent me for an echocardiogram, which I did last week. Everything on the echocardiogram came back normal. All of the measurements and sizing they did all normal. Um, he told me to do the new meds for two weeks and then redo my lab work um, because he wanted to see all, all of these numbers. And there were a couple new things on there I've never heard of before. And so the lab work was mostly normal. The only things that came back abnormal were my vitamin B12 is low. My vitamin D is extremely low. And apparently looking back all the way to 2018, I have been vitamin D deficient since at least 2018. I don't have a record before that. So who knows how long, which I know a lot of people are. So I need to start taking uh, like 5,000 IU of vitamin D every day to get that up um, because that could be contributing to a lot of my joint pain and a lot of the chronic pain issues that I've been having. Um, he said that um, my sodium's a little bit low, but he said just try not to drink so much water because I'm a big water drinker and um, it should be fine as long as it doesn't get much lower. And he said that um, otherwise, like there was no sign of uh, congestive heart failure, no sign of anything more nefarious going on in there that I need to worry about as far as my heart goes. He wants me to still see the pulmonologist about my lungs. I have an appointment for March. Um, I'm supposed to see an endocrinologist. I couldn't get in. They were booked way, way out. So I still have to do that. But my blood pressure medicine today, um, he upped it. He like, like upped it to the, the next dose. Uh, and so I'm going to keep taking that. And he thinks that that will bring my blood pressure down into that uh, like 130s over 80s range that it needs to, to stay at. And um, what else, babe? What am I forgetting? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, he wants to see, he wants me to come back and check in with them in four months. Unless um, because of the, oh, so he's really excited. He's really happy about the fact that I'm on the shot, the weight loss shot. And I've already lost, and I'm in my third week right now. Week four starts on Monday, and I've lost seven pounds. So he's like, keep doing that. Absolutely. He's like, that's going to really help you out. Um, and as your weight comes down and your blood pressure comes down more naturally, um, we can dial back on the blood pressure medicine if we need to. He's like, just let me know if it starts, if the, your blood pressure starts getting too low. Um, and yeah, he said to keep trying to add in more exercise as my lungs continue healing. Oh, he said that the lung issue, he said it's very common for people who've had the virus to have lasting inflammation in the lungs. And that, you know, a lot of times you just have to wait for it to get better over time. So, um, yeah, that's, oh, James, he's, I asked him about that. I said, well, is the sodium that comes up on the lab work the same thing as when you, if you eat too much salt and he's like, no, they're not related. He's like, you can't, you can't raise that lab work sodium by eating salt. And he's like, I don't want you eating salt. So don't do that. <laughs> he said, you need to eat a reduced sodium diet. But he said that, um, uh, it's it, the sodium that's on your lab work is related to your kidney function. And so it has more to do with how much water I'm drinking and how well my kidneys are processing that than the sodium that I'm eating. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's everything. It was pretty uneventful really. And, uh, a lot of good news. And, you know, I'm already, I'm, I'm starting to, to feel better, even just not even necessarily like, oh, physically I'm seeing changes. I am, but you know, it's, it's baby steps, which is good. Um, but just feeling like there's hope, 
because I'll tell you guys, uh, November, December, um, I was really in a rough place. Like I had to, you know, I had my son here and, um, it was Anna's birthday and it was Christmas. And so I tried my best to like keep plugging along, put a smile on my face, but I was in a lot of pain and I was feeling really crappy, uh, a lot of the time. And so now I feel like there's hope. I feel like I can start getting, um, you know, all of this stuff under control and getting back to a healthier, happier place. And the mindfulness that I'm doing at night in the Zen zone is absolutely helping. I look, I so look forward to doing that with you guys every night. I really do. Like it's been one of my favorite things about life lately. So um, yeah, we're going to keep doing that. And I think that's about it. I think I should go. I have to help my husband make soup. <laughs> So, um, thank you guys for being here with us tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy to see all your faces and, um, I'm so happy that people are starting to get comfortable with the switch and coming over here and learning how the live stream works over here. I mean, what do you guys think? You've been through a whole hour long live now, or at least part of it. If you came in late, what do you guys think about the, about this format and this platform and um, live streaming over here. There are lots of ads, which is really fantastic. Um, and eventually I know, I know that the videos that I'm uploading that are from last year, I know they're annoying. I get it. it it's annoying because they're not full screen. And I, I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately, I'm all I can do is crop them to make them more square which eliminates some of the black on either side, but it also brings the video more forward. I'm doing the best I can. I just want to get people caught up on what's happened. So let's get through Anna's medical care. We're just starting to get into her serial casting that happened last year. Um, let's get through her medical care. Let's get through us getting over being sick. Let's get through Austin's visit and her birthday and Christmas. And then I won't post any more old videos. Then it's all going to be new content and new live streams. And so um, everything that we film going forward will be the full, the full screen. Uh, Jody, if you're not getting ads, it could be that you have an ad blocker on. It could be that you've subscribed to premium service over here, which is bad news because it hurts content creators. I don't recommend paying for the, the YouTube premium. Sorry, YouTube. Um, it could be that you just weren't selected. Ads aren't shown to every single person watching. It's a randomized computer thing. So not everyone gets them all at the same time um, and not everyone gets them every time but you should see them sometimes. If you're not seeing them at all ever, then that's something to look into. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. It was good to hang out with you guys and we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you guys so much for everything, for, the, for being here, for following us, for continuing to support us, um, for loving my, my kiddo, um, for the super chats. We appreciate you guys so much. All right. Good night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.